Hi, I'm Oliver Clark, a solution architect at Altair, where we help companies use the convergence of physical simulation, high performance computing, and AI to predict and optimize business outcomes. We were tasked with identifying characteristics that lead to a high risk of flooding and finding ways to help mitigate the displacement and loss of life due to these events. Today, we'll show you how we use the Altair RapidMiner platform to get to insights faster by enabling domain and data experts to collaborate seamlessly to leverage existing SAS language and Python code, and to deliver flood risk warnings ahead of time to the right people with a real-time dashboard. First, our analyst incorporates the data needed. Altair RapidMiner can connect to various cloud data sources like Azure, Amazon, Google, web APIs, and databases. All of the relevant data is centrally managed in a catalog and is easily accessible to anyone working on the project. The analyst can easily drag pre-built operators into visual workflows to read and prepare their data. Here, they join different data sets, filter data they don't need, and create time windows to incorporate past data. Planning to model flood risk based on country and year, they simply aggregate and pivot the data. The resulting table shows consolidated weather and flood data for each year. The analyst sees some missing values here, and due to previous experience with similar data, knows that there's a special Python routine based on the KNN algorithm for imputing missing values. So our analyst asks some help from a coding data scientist while they carry on with the rest of the data transformation workflow in parallel. Our coding data scientist can work in this notebook where Python code can interact with Altair RapidMiner projects, read data from a catalog or any other data source and transform it like here, where the coder imputes some values into the missing ones. Coders don't need to compromise on the flexibility they're used to, but can gain efficiency and collaboration from the visual and automated modalities in the software. Next comes feature engineering. The analysts can use their domain and data knowledge to easily generate new features and select those most indicative of flooding. Now, maybe we also have some existing SAS language procedure for feature selection that would be useful here. So our analyst uses an integration with our native SAS language engine to incorporate this as a step in our data transformation pipeline. At any time, analysts can explore the data to gain insights, such as the dependency between public spending on research or the presence of seasonal humid areas and flooding. The analyst also creates a dashboard to make such information available to stakeholders and domain experts, promoting collaboration and result sharing and fostering a data-driven culture. The analyst started with raw and scattered data and finished with well-transformed data ready for modeling, as well as some valuable insights. With the insights from the prepared data, our team can start to build a model to predict the risk of future flooding events. Altair RapidMiner allows users of all skills to build machine learning models. Our data scientist might want to use the workflow designer with a large collection of ML algorithms and supporting features, like validation and optimization methods. But our analyst or domain expert might be more comfortable with some extra guidance. Altair RapidMiner's automated AI features help users identify the right approach for their use case with detailed explanations and examples, and guide them through a step-by-step -step configuration to perform the analysis. There are automated solutions for classification and regression, time series forecasting, clustering, and feature engineering. So even experienced data scientists can save a lot of time when developing sophisticated models. For this project, our analyst starts using auto feature engineering. Feature engineering is the incredibly time consuming and complex task of selecting and building new input columns for machine learning. Altair RapidMiner automates feature engineering entirely by testing thousands of input combinations using a unique and efficient genetic algorithm. You can see how the model quickly improves and which features are deemed important enough to be included in the model. Our analysts can take these features right into AutoML and build a model that will predict the risk of extreme flooding events. Here they can also specify costs and benefits to account for the higher expense of an unforeseen flooding event as opposed to the expense of mitigation efforts. The analyst evaluates the data with the help of quality measures identified and easily selects or deselects their input data. Instead of selecting individual models, Users can specify their objective and choose between easily explainable, fast, or highly accurate models. Experts can override model selections at any point, like to include deep learning as an additional model, as ours does here. Once models are trained, they can be compared in this view, where information is shown about each model. In this case, deep learning turned out to be the model champion, 
as it performed best for machine learning criteria and resulted in the most gains from a cost-benefit analysis. While there are easy to understand summaries for less advanced users, data scientists can always inspect all model performance metrics. In the initial data exploration, yearly spending on R&D was identified as an important factor, which we see here again. Higher spending seems to indicate a reduced flood risk. As a follow-up, our analyst builds a forecast model per country for the high-risk factors, leveraging a highly automated approach. All forecasting models are trained and tested with sliding window validation to preserve the time series nature of the input data. We can now compare the different models and check individual performance on the training data. Together, the forecasting values from the four identified high impact factors in combination with the prediction model will be used to create a holistic strategy for flood prevention. Now that the team has finished the work on their models, it's time to operationalize them. Here we have a workflow that combines the four models and scores the new data with both pre- and post-processing steps. In Altair Rapid Miner, any model or workflow can be quickly deployed in multiple ways, either as an API that can be integrated with any application such as a data visualization tool, triggered via an external scheduling system, or scheduled to run recurrently. Here the workflow calculating an extreme flood risk and forecast for a given country is deployed as an API. The component provides metadata on the deployment, such as owner, resource consumption, health status, and the input parameters required for the model. The model ops component provides a catalog for all registered and deployed models. Understanding how a model performs in the real world is critical for business operations. In this example, model performance can be evaluated, such as the total number of scores, distribution of a target variable, and the time taken to score the data. Visualizing the data at different intervals provides additional model performance analysis over a period of time. This helps the team quickly identify any performance degradation in the model. The Drift tab shows the changes detected in the deployed model. The distribution of scoring and training data helps us understand how the input used whilst training the model has changed in the real world. This ensures that the model delivers and performs as per our expectations. MLOps enables continuous monitoring and intervention when something goes wrong. Actions taken can be configured. Like in this example, the workflow alerts users via email of model performance degradation. Again, such workflows can be easily scheduled to run recurrently. Next to model performance, model transparency is key, and a careful understanding of how the model predicts is crucial for maintaining transparency. For example, a generate interpretations operator in this workflow helps us understand how the input features make predictions. When selecting the algorithm and setting the parameters, we can understand the feature importance for each prediction made and the global weights in the model. Operational use of a model requires trust from many stakeholders. The model simulator in Altair Rapid Miner enables these users to perform what-if analysis using an intuitive real-time interface. Here, our stakeholder is changing the input features to learn how the change in values impacts the feature importance and overall confidence of the model. We can see how average lake and river area change affects the overall risk of flooding. Given the models trained previously, data scientists or MLOps engineers can easily deploy and operate their models and ensure reliability and trustworthiness. Our team has created several real-time dashboards to share information with stakeholders using Altair Panopticon. The first dashboard depicts a river flood risk mitigation strategy we created by combining four different models that we deployed as an API. This displays estimated flood risk ahead of time by calling the API for our deployed model. Parameters can be configured for dynamic use in the dashboard, the API is then called in real time, and the charts are populated and overlaid on a map. We can see how historic temperatures have been slowly rising for all countries, along with the two-year forecast. And we can easily toggle between countries like the UK, which has a low risk for extreme floods, or Bangladesh, which has a high risk. As we've seen before, R&D spending is an important factor for predicting severe flood risk, so we included it as a threshold in the risk alert. By relaxing the threshold for R&D spend, Bangladesh's flood warning score decreases accordingly. 
The second dashboard illustrates changes in flood impact over a 20-year period. The bubble chart on the left is divided into quadrants by high and low population and poor and wealthy countries. Each bubble is a country, and the bubble size represents the number of casualties. We can see that the poorer countries with a high population are disproportionately affected by flooding. The colour of each bubble reflects the region. In 2020, Sub-Saharan Africa had the most floods, with over 1 million people displaced in that year alone. The final dashboard looks at the different causes of flooding. Unsurprisingly, rain caused the most floods, however monsoons have a much higher human impact, displacing the most people. We can visualise which countries had the most monsoons and overlay the information against our model predictions. By combining our flood risk strategy with insights on monsoon-prone countries like India and Bangladesh, we can proactively identify high-risk areas and implement early strategies to save lives and mitigate the devastating impact of floods. Early prediction is not just a tool but a crucial lifeline that empowers us to take action and protect vulnerable communities. Being prepared is the key difference between displacement and resilience. Before we wrap, we wanted to show you the new conversational modality that users can leverage to help prepare and explore data and build models in an even more intuitive and accessible way. Here, our analysts ask Alter Rapimana for the flood data. After it finds the best matching data set in the catalog, it shows the data and we can start asking questions. For example, what is the sum of casualties in each country? Please note that they didn't actually use the real column name. Rather, the large language model used by the product figures this out and translates it to the right query. The analysts can quickly format the table to show data in descending order and ask to keep only the first 10 rows, for example. If a visualization is required, then the analysts can turn the results into a visual, like this bar chart here. Maybe they weren't looking specifically for a bar chart and they'd actually like to see the data as a pie chart. They need only ask the software to do that. So this is a feature which isn't currently GA, but which is due for release in the coming months. Through our exploration into flood risks, we've demonstrated how to use the Altair RepiMiner platform to connect and explore data, to enable collaboration between domain experts and data science experts, and to rapidly go from an idea to having that idea in production. These are all points of friction that organizations face on their data journey. Altair delivers frictionless AI through our technology, our center of excellence methodology, and through Altair units, a simple and flexible way to access more products while saving 30 to 50% over traditional licensing schemes. Thank you for your attention.